Roger Van Vogt from the Boston Globe. Mm -hmm. uh, my question, of course, is about Deflategate. Uh, last <laughs> summer, Texas <laughs> owner Bob McNair said at Deflategate, we all allowed it to become a mountain out of a molehill. And last week, Robert Kraft said to Peter King that you got bad advice from the people around you, and the league didn't handle it well. Uh, what is your reaction to those comments? And in hindsight, do you think you got bad advice about how you handled Deflategate? No, we had a, um, been a violation. Uh, we went through a process. We applied the discipline uh, in accordance um, with our process. Uh, it was litigated, as you know, extensively uh, and validated by the Second Circuit Court of Appeals. Uh, so we're moving on from that. That's, uh, that's part of our history, but it's, it's something that uh, we're comfortable with the process, the decision. And as I say, we're focusing on the game now. It appears to be avoiding Foxborough. The Patriots are here in this game. Back home or island, it feels like there's still a war between the Patriots, their fans, and you. How would you characterize the situation, and is it not awkward? Uh, I would tell you that it's not awkward at all for me. Uh, we have a job to do. We do our job. As I said, there was a violation. We applied a process and discipline. And we came to a conclusion that was supported by the facts and by the courts. So from our standpoint, we understand when fans uh, who are loyal and passionate for a team uh, object and don't like the outcome. I totally understand that. That's not an issue for me. Um, and I was in Boston uh, two seasons ago for two consecutive playoff games, the same way I was in Atlanta this year. So that happens. Uh, so from our standpoint, this is just about making sure we take care of business and do it the way that is right to uphold the integrity of our teams and our rules for all 32 teams. No, if I'm invited back to Foxborough, I'll come. How, how has your relationship with the team changed over the last two years? Listen, we have a disagreement about what occurred. We have been very transparent about what we think the violation was. We went through a lengthy process. We disagree about that, but I continue to respect and admire Robert, Jonathan, the entire organization. They are an extraordinary organization, and they're extraordinary people, in my view. So I have a very deep and close relationship to them. But that doesn't change that we have to compartmentalize things that we disagree on. But I'll be honest with you, I have disagreements with probably all 32 of our teams. Uh, I'm not afraid of disagreement, and I don't think disagreement leads to distrust or hatred, it dis it's a disagreement. You take your disagreements, you find a common place, and you move forward. That's what it is. It's not, it's not all personal in nature, which I know people like to make it. But for us, it's about making sure that we do what's right for the league long term.